Hello, this is Alex Koloskov from 4TG.com and uh, today we'll be talking about three monolights. Three monolights uh, which I got in the studio. Uh, many thanks for B&H Photovideo.com, our sponsor, for providing those guys. And uh, I can tell you why I selected uh, three monolights, this particular three monolights. Uh, Alien Chrome, BRX500, Profoto D1 500 Air and uh, Photogenic uh, 1215 DR. We got these three monolights. All of them has the same power output, 500 watt second. And uh, well, this is kind of really good. It's not uh, usually it's kind of enough, enough, uh, enough power for most of uh, studio applications. Uh, less than 500 watt second, it may be not enough. More is usually better, but uh, it costs you the money, right? Uh, I'll talk a little bit about each light, just a little bit, because I see the you know studio lighting is uh, like a large building, I would say, and uh, uh, lights itself, mono lights or power packs, it's like a foundation uh, for the foundation for your uh, you know gear building of you know for your studio, and of course the walls, the whole thing is uh, light modifiers. Because without light modifiers, this is nothing. It's just, you know, very little use of it. And uh, light modifiers uh, and variety of those light modifiers is really what makes, uh, well, what di differentiates uh, each of uh, lighting systems. So you really need to think about light modifiers when you're choosing what, to, you know, what light uh, to use if you have nothing. And of course, the very top of your building is your knowledge, your head, photographer's head. Uh, meaning that you need to know how to use those light modifiers and that lighting, you know? Uh, we have it covered in 40G with all the courses uh, which we have, but of course foundation is uh, really important and once you selected your lighting system, it will, re it will be really hard to switch from one to another one. Um, well, usually it costs quite money. Um, same as with building, right? <laughs> you can't change foundation, right? Let's see uh, what the difference of uh, each lighting system, just in controls, uh, but again, it would be probably minimal. Uh, and uh, then we'll go there, it will be much more interesting, and um, we'll shoot the real splash shot. Why splash? I'll tell you this, I didn't get my light modifiers for them. And, well, I don't need light modifiers, they're not uh, a purpose of this test, you know, to test, uh, to, to show you all the variety of possible light modifiers. It's too much. But I want to show you uh, the maximum I can do with this. To s I want to see how fast those lights are, how short flash duration, because we have a uh, specification for each light and um, it's quite fast, it's quite, quite uh, short flash duration. But I want to see, will it be enough uh, to freeze some splash? You know, my, uh, my favorite uh, topic, as usual. So, Alien Chrome, let me turn it on. Alien Chrome light, uh, lots of features. Uh, we've been testing Alien Chrome before, and uh, this is just a great light. Uh, lighting system. It has, you know, all the connection connectors uh, through USB, uh, air, type of uh, triggers, you know, really cool. Uh, all electronics here and, uh, well, maximum power is 6.3. That's probably F-stops, that's what they call it. And uh, here is the little cheat list. Uh, for Alien Chrome, it cost uh, $670, okay? It's a middle between these two. And uh, uh, flash duration is 1 1500 of a second at maximum power, at full power. It may be enough, and maybe not. It's T.5 number, uh, which is kind of, you know, it's not uh, really the real number. We need T.1. Uh, anyway, we have uh, controls here. Power goes ups and up and down. Uh, we can do modern light separately from power. Uh, we, can, we can have beep, and uh, there is uh, optical slave, uh, yes or no. Nice light, uh, strange lamp, uh, modern light, uh, lamp. This is what came with the unit. Looks like, well, my grandma uh, old lamp. Then let's go to the second one. Uh, Profoto will be at the last. Uh, this is photogenic, uh, quite heavy light. Uh, well, interesting construction. The whole thing detached, uh, you know, uh, with uh, UV protection uh, cap and uh, the bulb, it's like one unit which is kind of cool. 
Uh, like I said, heavy, light. It has uh, nice, lots of nice uh, controls. Let's wait and it's on. Uh, it costs uh, six hundred dollars, and uh, the shortest flash duration is uh, one uh, thirteen hundred of a second, which is the longest among those three. Well, we'll see. Will it work or not? Uh, again. There is a test light, there is uh, adjustments. You can uh, go up and down on uh, one f-stop or one-tenth of f-stop, uh, which a little bit unusual. I would prefer some rotating knob, uh, but anyway, uh, not a problem with this, right? We can go to all 500 second, what second, and do a <laughs> nice. There is no well, that beep is uh, coming from a <laughs> brown color I have there. So there is no beep, but uh, at least uh, it indicates, uh, let me show it again to you. You see, it blinked the light when it's ready. So kind of cool. Whew, man, and has built-in slave. Uh, really nice, really solid piece of uh, studio equipment. And uh, talking about uh, the mount solution, it looks like it's something uh, proprietary. Right, that's how you call it. And um, well, I don't know how many light modifiers exist for it, and how you know what kind of variety. I hope it's um, it's not bad. I hope it's good because Photogenic it's uh, quite a uh, good brand. And now Profoto. You know, I have never uh, had Profoto before in my hands. Uh, this looks really cool. You know, the whole thing, it's more like, uh, you know, some shotgun, <laughs> which is probably it is. Um, it fires the light. So, all nice buttons here. Uh, very nice rotating knob. We can go full power, we can go low power. By rotating, uh, there is a slave, there is a ready indicator, modern light, uh, well, channel. Again, lots of functionality on this unit uh, is coming, oops, sorry, uh, it's coming from desktop software. If uh, I don't have it uh, right now, but uh, there is a USB air transmitter, you know, and the receiver is built in here, and uh, you can do a lot. Um, there is plugin for Capture One for Profoto and uh, standalone software, so there are lots of functionality. And this unit cost uh, about $1,200. And uh, this is the most expensive, but basically you can get almost uh, well, two of photogenic and almost two of Allen Chrome lights for the price of this one. But it also has the shortest flash duration. Shortest flash duration, which is uh, one uh, 2600 of a second. 2.5, again, kind of 2.5, uh, tells me not really much. Uh, but it may be good, maybe not, we'll check. Okay, and uh, it also has the fastest recycling time, less than second at full power. This is full power. It's really fast. Again, that uh, beep is uh, from our little friend, well, it's not little, it's brown color. Anyway, our fastest uh, recycling time. Photogenic, I think it's slowest. Or 1.5 second, Alien Chrome somewhere in between. Okay, uh, I don't have much more to talk about this light right now. Uh, I can test them, and uh, let's go there. It will be more, much more fun. <laughs> 